What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now on today's episode, we are answering another viewer's question and his name is Edward Page. So Edward Page told me something is wrong with his fuel pump or he's getting a fuel issue and he's getting two codes which is a P0172 and a P0175. So Edward, I did some research for you and here is what we have. Now before you guys think that I'm some super, super, super smart guy that knows everything about every code, no, I don't. I just Google the code or look more into it and then I give you the breakdown of what it could possibly be. So, for this specific code, um, we have that the computer is not adjusting the mixture of the air and fuel ratio. So, the mass airflow sensor could be a problem. Now, what you want to do before you go replacing parts and buying anything, you would want to remove the mass airflow sensor, clean it, uh, because it does get dirt and debris on the sensor and you don't like that can mess with the readings and cause you to get a lean or rich mixture so definitely uh, clean the sensor first clear the code try it out again see if it comes back if it does then you need to hook up the scan tool start the engine and let it idle check the barom check the barometric pressure and if it reads 34.5 hg which is um you know mercury uh and it's close to sea level and you're close to sea level you have a defective airflow meter and basically that is telling you that you are 4000 feet below sea level all of this is obviously coming out of repairpal.com.org or whatever it is repairpal.org I'm sorry, repairpal.com, so you can check on to it anyway, but uh, here are some additional causes as well, so I'm going to read it off the website for you. So you got a defective map sensor, which is the manifold absolute pressure, um, or you can have a, you know, vacuum leak or something of some sort that's giving you an issue, slipped timing chain or timing belt, uh, leaking head gasket can cause poor vacuum and map readings, which I've never heard about that one, but I guess it does. Um, defective oxygen sensors can sometimes cause the PO172. Stuck fuel pressure regulator can cause a rich condition. Inaccurate coolant temperature or air temperature can cause that issue. A thermostat stuck in the open position can cause a PO172. Especially in cold climates, the engine won't warm up, preventing it to go into closed loop fuel control. That's interesting. I didn't even know that. So I learned something new. Uh, ignition misfires, like mechanical misfires. Uh, worn or stuck wiper in the throttle position sensor. Okay. Uh, if the vehicle is not hoisted properly, the fuel return line can be pinched, causing high pressure fuel condition. Um, and then a shorted fuel injector windings can cause injection injectors to spray too much fuel causing a rich condition so there are a lot of things that you can go almost broke my table there are a lot of things that you can go and look into go to repairpal.com type in your codes or on google just type in the two codes straight up and it will pop up for you giving you everything to look through now eric keep us you know up to date with what's going on leave a comment in the comment section below let me know let the people know what is going on here and if any of this that i said or repair pal said actually helped if it did let us know in the comment section below guys whoever's watching try to help edward out man maybe you guys came across a po172 po175 if you did give him a hand man we're a tight-knit family that's what we do we help each other out so I hope you like this quick episode, Edward. If you did, please make sure you hit the like button, guys. Same thing for y'all. If you did, hit the like button on the side for the YouTube algorithm as well as hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber. And I'll see y'all for the next one. Peace.